I'm not just anywhere today. I am on Southern Lake, Michigan. Launching on Patrick Marina in East Chicago. I am gonna go catch some smallmouth. At least I hope I am. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes, but I'm pretty sure I'll find some fish on beds. And I'm also kinda hoping I catch a few fish on spitter baits uh, and maybe some post-spawn fish as well. Some fish uh, relating to, what do you call those things? Spillways out on a lake. And hopefully, hopefully you watch this video and learn some good stuff about a phenomenal. I'll say right now, one of the key challenges with other people who are unfamiliar with Lake Michigan is that a lot of people assume this is a great lake. So it's got a setup like Lake Erie or Lake St. Clair where you fish the flats and rock piles and you catch 30, 50 fish a day. That's not the case here. It's really not. It's very, they're very small spots out here. Now you can catch 20 pounds of fish on any given day, though that's uncommon and extraordinarily difficult. But this is a lot of running around one spot to the next and, and it's not uh, gravel flats and eight foot of water 20 foot of water looking for weed beds out in the middle of the lake that that's just not the case here you got to fish man-made structure almost explicitly so that's what you're going to see me doing a lot of rock walls uh fish some bridges and some spillways and hopefully some awesome action here coming up Michigan. The rocks are so sharp, I didn't set the hook. I just got stank just a little bit, pulled back on it, and cut my line. It might be June 12, 2018, but the fish will spawn out here all the way through July. The farther north you go, the more likely they are to be spawning. And in East Chicago, I'm in an area where I know they are probably still spawning. At least some are. Probably a combination of post-spawn and spawning here. So that's why I got my eyes up I'm looking for. fish in here in mid to even up to late June and granted I have been in here all year long but I've, there's not a single fish spawn over here no we're just going to check the other side real quick and then uh, if not, I don't find anything there we'll just keep moving I call it bust and move Hit one spot to the next and to the next and to the next until you come across something. That's the goal even on a body of water as large as Lake Michigan. Only difference is between this and normal lake, there's a lot more running. Uh-oh. I got something, but it ain't a bass. It's a sheephead. Snag, stupid thing. Snag, snag. Snag, pretty guy, pretty fish, but not what we're after here. That's not a bad sign, in all honesty. They, they can really fool you and get your heart pumping because they fight like, like, like nothing else. But they eat the same thing the bass do. And out here in Lake Michigan, that's gobies. They may occasionally get on an alewife or a minnow or a crawdad bite. 
and I'm sure they eat plenty of crawdads, but those gobies are, that is their number one food source out here. These sheephead eat it, just like the bass do. And we got another sheep. Six sheep head this area, which oh, oh, bloopers with animals here. Pretty fish, slimy and disgusting, though. Pooped all over me. I get asked a lot what's so unique about the Loch Ness Lures Monkey Punch. I mean, the biggest thing that's unique about it is that. It catches fish. I mean, that's it, but it, it's got a much bigger profile. Bigger profile, I should say, than the Poor Boys Erie Darter, which I really like. And especially out here in Lake Michigan where they're gobbling up these gobies. But the other thing is the softness. It's extremely soft and it's got great action. That tail just undulates so perfectly, especially when you're trying to mimic these gobies or even crawdads to get out of different body of water. Right in his mouth, huh? See that? It's not necessarily a size rasher, but nice chunk to get started. This may seem unconventional to people who fish smaller bodies of water. Why am I so stinking close to the edge? Because the smallmouth are going to be relating to this edge. 90 plus percent of the fish that I catch out here are literally right on the edge of these things. So it makes things tough if you're a fish trying to fish on the back of the boat. But out here it makes perfect sense of what you need to do. Work along this edge and I keep my bait in the strike zone. Well, I got to catch a day so far, huh? It's a smallmouth. Ain't not much bigger than the gobies out here. But the one thing I'll say is I've been getting tipped, ticks, I should say, by the gobies right through here. And something I learned about Lake Michigan, if you're never getting bumped by gobies, you should probably get out of the area because bass are chasing those gobies. And if you're not around gobies, you're not around the fish. So that's a good sign. Started getting bumped by gobies and catch that little guy. Hopefully a five pounder comes to this next cast. There, I'm talking on the camera here with Greg Reckway of Thunder Lakes Indoor Range and he brings me the good luck to catch the goby. Now you can see exactly what this thing looks like. A little Snickers bar with a small mouth. We'll let him go. I don't think I want him. He's slimy a little bit. Cute little guy though. Hello. Hello mama. Hello. 
Hello, everybody. My name's Mr. Whiskers. Pretty fish. But he tastes good, too. But he's going to go back in the water. I'm fishing a discharge, warm water discharge, main lake, 64 degree water. Right here at 74. I am seeing a ton. That's a new number, cut ton of carp, sheephead, and these pretty good sized smallmouth cruising through here too. I haven't caught a smallmouth though. I caught a caught a shad, caught a sheephead. Now, uh, now, Captain, maybe I can get a smallmouth. I'm getting everything except the species I'm going after. I'm working this discharge by just casting into the current and it's going across rocks. The challenge is not setting a hook on a rock that feels like a fish bite. Oh, I got something big here. Once again, don't think it's fast. I got myself a big sheep head. Yep, sure do. Lake Michigan smallmouth. You gotta be honest, I, mean, I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to catch him. Saw him, ooh, he's a beauty. Saw him on a bed and he's he's pretty shallow. It's so difficult to see. Now, now I say that sun comes out, but the sun has not been coming out. 
and I threw drop shots at them in tubes and uh, my drop shot baits are always being uncustom and they was reacting to them but it wasn't, wasn't biting it until finally I started throwing that uh, hula grub and he finally reacted to that the exact same size bite my bait real close to the boat this is not the same fish I'm certain of it and uh, just saw one 15 feet back there swim off a of bed so we might have a few more fish in this little area here catch small mouth Lake Michigan style well I'm not sure I've ever had a day where I've got off the water and says man I'm glad I didn't catch any more fish than I did well I sure wish I'd caught more fish today these fish in Indiana. I am in Southern Lake, Michigan in Indiana. I did not venture into Illinois or drive up into Michigan. They're, they're mostly in a post spawn funk. There are still some fish on beds as you saw in the video. So, caught a handful of fish. I'm really disappointed myself because back in September I took a trip out of Lake Michigan. You can check that video out on my YouTube channel. And I said to myself, I'm going to get back out here and prove myself right, prove it right that there are fish out here and then uh, well, we'll see. I mean, got sheephead and catfish and a couple smallmouth bass. Anyway, I hope you still enjoyed the video. If you do me a humongous favor, please, please click the subscribe button. I'm begging for some subscribers. Like the video, or even if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down and give me some suggestions in the comments of what I should be doing differently, how I can make the videos better, or what you wish I would do. Or maybe you just wish I'd crawl under a rock. You can tell me that too. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna head home. And next week, I'm going to be in Lake Champlain on that new New York-Vermont border. Get ready for the FLW Costa. Sure to have some good videos coming in after that. Thanks for tuning in.